Right then guys, a uh, little MGB roadster for you. I always suggest an MGB of some description to those that are just wanting something either really, really usable or if they're new to the movement, then you cannot really go wrong with an MGB as long as you buy the right one that is. We'll fire up actually. They are very, very forgiving, very, very easy to use to the point where if you cannot get on with an MGB, then you won't be able to get on with any classic car. Decent oil pressure. Clean and tidy in there, in fact I'll shut that down while I'm here and then I can just show you what the bonnet gaps are like. Inside wise, nice seat, wood rim steering wheel, some over mats, genuinely very smart and tidy inside. Very very presentable, good on the door shuts, good on the door cards. Is that a tonneau or a hood cover? Looks like a hood, no, tonneau, tonneau cover there, well, looks of things, tonneau cover in the back, nice spare wheel cover, nice and smart and tidy in the boot. Looks to be a real usable little car, this guy's. Obviously, luggage rack there on the back. Same around this side. Hood condition, I've left the hood up so we can see that. Good on the plastics on the windows. Good all round. As good as you're gonna get is the hood. I've taken loads of photographs for you guys. Underside, top side, the usual problem areas. The seams here, seams on the back wings are good. seam down there is good and then the last one and I have taken some photographs of the underside that looks really good does that look you can still got the nice seam there and the screws have a quick look around the other side before I show you the rest of the car Ah, that's alright, that's good as that guys, yeah. And then the car itself, good on the shut levels, still got the seams where you should. The two seams that normally get filled over if they're full of putty. Quite a centre cap for your rear wheel, I'm sure they'll be easily available. Presentable little car that. Very usable, very usable little MGB there.